Our region's business is sponsored by PNC for the achiever in you. Welcome to Our Region's Business with your host, Bill Flanagan. Today on Our Region's Business, an entrepreneur who traded a career in banking for a startup limousine business is celebrating 25 years of success. Plus, a new leader takes the helm of river life in Pittsburgh. We'll meet Vivian Lee. But first, building better brain performance. Thanks to the movie Concussion, our region has found itself front and center in the ongoing conversation about head injury and football and other sports. <coughs> Well, it turns out we're also a hotbed of research in brain performance, and that's helped to create a market opportunity for a company called RC21X, which can help individuals establish a baseline for their own brain performance. Clarence Carlos is CEO of RC21X, and Mark Kavikia is Chief Digital Officer, and welcome. Good to have you both here. Thank you, Thank you Bill. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about where this, this idea came from in the first place. Why is it important to have some baseline measurement of brain performance? Well, Bill, about seven years ago, a fraternity brother of mine's son, Kyle Wilson, had a tragic incident that happened to him where he was in emergency room, and um, they checked Kyle out and thought that he may have had a brain bleed from an injury, and um, <clears throat> they eventually found out that he wasn't bleeding, and they sent Cal home and told him to check with his primary care physician the next day. Well, Cal wasn't doing too good in the morning, so they had to rush him to the hospital. Eventually, Cal stroke and he died. Well, Cal eventually, his death was caused by a vertebral artery bleed in his neck. And we felt that if a tool like ours, the RC21X, would have been out there and able to give a bunch of objective data so that physicians can use it when an individual comes into your facility or as a clinician and say, listen, we checked him out, but something's really still going on here. He That's, should be performing here, but he's performing here. I, there's got to be yes. something else going on, right? Y yes, yeah. Bill. He could have been performing at 300,000 points that we make a layman for individuals, for doctors, for parents to understand, and maybe now he's performing at 50,000 you know, in his brain performance capacity. Now we give more objective data that can be used across the cloud and on the web to a physician at any given time or any given place. So it's a great idea. Uh, of course, it's one thing to have a great idea. It's another thing to turn it into a product you could actually take to market and hopefully uh, make some money selling. You guys actually have known each other since grade school and you started cooking up and trying to figure this out. Is that right? <laughs> well, we didn't come up with the idea then, but yes, we've known each other from, <laughs> yes. for, for a long time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and so how did, it, how did you begin to take this idea and then turn it into something that could actually be used in, in this way? Uh, well, I ran into Clarence in a restaurant several years back and uh, he, he came up to me. I just moved back into the area and uh, he asked me if I'd be willing to help him. And my background is in software development. I've been managing offshore teams for about 20 years and um, we've kind of been at it ever since. So we, we started with that uh, and, and we developed the software in conjunction uh, by partnering with the University of Texas at Arlington and the Human Performance Institute down there, uh, who helped us with a lot of score, a lot of the scoring algorithms, and uh, we developed it over about a year and uh, launched it last year. So it's a web-based platform, and what you go online and sort of play some games or run some exercises, and, and it'll give you a score on how well your brain's performing. Yes, Bill, and it's it's very simplified because you only need a mouse internet connection and a computer. And um, your parents can have you from five years of age or if you're older individuals in your family that are in where you're a caregiver in that type of situation, you could monitor their brain health at home or away from them. You could have a, an individual living in California, you wanna make sure your mother or father's doing okay. So you can have them playing the tool and seeing where their brain performance capacities are well, at any given time. I mentioned the movie Concussion at the beginning. There's so much interest in this topic now because of repetitive brain trauma. Is that part of where you think this, this, this kind of tool might be used? <laughs> uh, as a matter of fact, we are testing a lot of those players right now. Uh, we're working in conjunction with some of the law firms that represent the former players and they're actually using RC21X2 monitor brain health for the lifetime of, of those retired NFL players. And, and, th and this is a monitoring thing. I mean, there's been some controversy recently about Lumosity, which uh, which was purports to help you improve your brain performance. You guys aren't making that claim. This is a, no. this is a tracking methodology? No, we, we don't make any claims at all. We just provide objective data that when you play our tool at any given time, your brain performance can change. You can take this on a daily basis, a weekly basis, a monthly basis. Your brain performance could be here and it could drop down to here 
Now you have objective data to take it to a physician, clinician, to have them check out what's going on here, what's causing you to change. Okay, so I get the NFL connection and the, and the opportunity to work directly with some of those football players. Other markets where you see this becoming a, a real business opportunity for the company? Yeah, I can tell you some of the ones we're actually already in. So physical therapy companies are using our tool um, for people that either have concussions, strokes, uh, workers' compensation related injuries. So again, it's coming up with that normal range prior to something happening. Um, and then through rehabilitation, tracking that, that rehabilitation, because a lot of times when you have a physical injury, you also have either depression or some sort of effect on the brain. Um, it can be used by, by that group of people. Um, we're, we're also talking with some insurance companies about putting it into their wellness plan. So really this becomes a proactive tool for the general population. It's not just for people that are athletes or have concussions. It's really anybody that wants to kind of know where they are. So the baby boomers is another good example of people that are aging and they, they might say, you know, I'm not as sharp as I was yesterday, but how do you really know that? So this tool allows you to actually get a, an objective score, uh, a number that you now can track over your lifetime. And as Clarence mentioned, it's, it's very simple to use. It's a video game. It takes 12 minutes. And it's really a proactive tool, similar to a, a scale, you know, when, when you get on. I was going to say, it's like a scale for yeah. your weight or the blood pressure cuff. Yeah. Try to understand, exactly. do I have an issue there that could lead to a stroke or whatever exactly. else? Yeah, exactly. uh, it's, it's just now doing it for your brain performance as well. Only a tiny bit of time left, but I wonder, you mentioned a little bit of the science out of the University of Texas. Is this Pittsburgh a good place to be launching a company like this? I, yes. Um, University of Texas Arlington was, it was, the way we were introduced to them was through Robert Morris University mm. and um, the dean of the business school, which was Dr. John Beeler and worked with his wife, Dr. Pam Beeler. And um, they did the introduction and they worked and they've been doing human performance for over 50 years and um, being able to establish where an individual's brain performance or brain performance capacities are. So they were just a great team. It just happened to be that we're from Pittsburgh and um, this is ground zero and a lot of things are happening. Well, I was saying there's so much brain research going on here, yes. here, here around town. Yeah. Yes, there is. And uh, like Mark said, you know, we have a lot of individuals, insurance companies, we have people around the world taking our test in China, India, all over the place. Well, and, and last, I got to ask you, why is it called RC21X? Roberto Clemente. Oh, easy enough. <laughs> Roberto Clemente. RC21, of course. Yes, yeah. and, and, and Roberto died as a humanitarian, and he wanted to save lives around the world. And we happened to be, we got found on LinkedIn by another company that was established here in Pittsburgh by Roberto Clemente Jr. And he said, I really like what you guys are doing in the brain health space. He says, I would like to somehow get involved with you guys. And we said, Roberto, you know what? I would like to name this after your father. I said, your father died as a humanitarian saving lives. What better person and who, what do people know around the world schools are named after him than Roberto Clemente? That's great. Well, great honor for him and then even more important, the work you're doing that hopefully will help a lot more people in the years to come. Clarence Carlos, CEO, Mark Kavicki, a Chief Digital Officer for RC21X. Thank you both so much. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for having us. And next up, trading a career in banking for a startup in the transportation business. Uh, we'll see how a local entrepreneur made the leap a quarter century ago. Stay with us.